Hi guys, it is time for New Listings at Noon. I'm Karen Ringo, a realtor in the DMV area with Compass. And I'm Allison Semeca, a realtor in the DMV area also with Compass. Guys, every week, Allison and I, we go out and we find our favorite new listings on the market. So this week, we have a really short and sweet uh, uh, segment for you. We have only two listings that we're going to be presenting today. Allison, can you tell everyone where your listing, your favorite listing is located? I sure can. It's in Columbia Heights. What about you? Where's yours? So awesome. Mine is in the Mount Vernon uh, Triangle. So I am really uh, excited. It's a historic um, or it's a DC uh, landmark. So nice yes. two dc condos today so <clears throat> yes two dc condos awesome so um allison's gonna uh feature hers first and i will go after allison is done so we'll go ahead and get started sure uh, okay, guys, this one's really cool. So the address is 770 Gerard Street Northwest. The unit is 6E. Um, it's uh, listed by Raquel Gutierrez at Sotheby's. Um, and it's in a very unique property. So the building is called the Helicopter Factory. Um, and it's a luxury condo building that was built in 2017. Um, and <clears throat> I'll get through some of the history in a little bit. But we'll just start because we've got this great the first shot of the of the unit here. Um, so this is you'd be the second owner to be in this particular unit. It's listed at seven ninety nine. It's a two hundred sixty one dollar a month uh, condo fee. So pretty low condo fees here. It's a two bed two bath, and it's a uh, twelve fifty five square feet. Um, so, you know, th they were trying to stick with the feel of the original building, which I'll get to in a minute, which means that we have some really industrial kind of, um, you know, things here to make that, make this unit feel, you know, in, in that way. So we've got a lot of this, um, some vintage fixtures, you've got reclaimed wood shelving and beams, which you can see in this photo. And there's like floating steel throughout the whole building. So um, living room kind of open kitchen here is just, I just think super unique and sexy, um, which is, is very, um, you know, fun with a fun to house of a sexy house. And these windows are absolutely phenomenal. Um, we've talked about them in our kind of loft style units before. We talked about one that we presented maybe three or four weeks ago, where you've got these kind of segmented windows. They're just not, they're just not that common in this area. So when you see them, I think that they really pack a punch. Um, but now that we're looking at the outside, I can tell you guys a little bit about just the development in general. It's obviously a three-story development here, um, and it comes from the 1920s gyrocopter factory. Um, and so the gyro motor company and standard materials company operated the site from 1902 to the mid-1920s. Um, the gyrocopter, which is manufactured there, was a, a predecessor to the helicopter. So that's why the development's name came from that. Um, so it's pretty interesting history. Actually, I think both of our buildings have some great history today. Mm -hmm. So that is, is that's our uh, theme a, for today. It's a nice theme for today, <laughs> for sure. Um, so we want to go back inside. Um, this unit is, um, this is obviously the entryway here. You can see with, um, you know, this year, but still like this reclaimed wood, this really warm, you know, feeling the light bulbs are like Edison bulbs throughout or just like warmer bulbs. So it just adds to the whole feel of the, of the complex. Um, so it's a different angle from the unit. So the unit is a single level unit. Um, and so we didn't include the floor plan, but it is online. So you can get a better sense of like how everything is related to each other. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, here you have a mix of things, right? You've got a mix of the metal with the wood, with the stainless steel. Um, we've got paneling, et cetera. So it's, um, it really brings everything together. And just the light fixtures, if you look at all these photos, are all pretty on point, right? Like it's just designed to a T with the industrial feel. Um, even the, the shelving there in the, in the kitchen with, the, um, with like the pipes, you know, holding it up is just really unique. Um, I thought to myself as I looked through that it, that there's some extra space also where you could add in like a separate pantry, like on either side of either the refrigerator or those shelves. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you have some available space to kind of play up, you know, your kitchen if you're a huge cook or something. So you can have room to expand. Sometimes there's not room to add in additional stuff, but this one provides it. And then just uh, another shot here. Um, it does have a fairly large balcony in the front. Um, so, you know, it, this is technically Columbia Heights, by the way, but it's kind of this 
this combination of areas. It's like Park View is right near there. It's you know, it's not like the thick of Columbia Heights, like everybody thinks it it thinks when they see when sorry, when they say Columbia Heights, it's kind of um, you know, it's more neighborhoody, I'll say. It's not like the crazy hustle and bustle of parts of Columbia Heights. And here is a good view right here of the outdoor area that you have. And as we go through, I think we start to look at some of the bedrooms. So, you know, you've got double exposure here. Um, the bedrooms are, you know, pretty nice size. And they've this owner has owned some pretty, or sorry, has added some pretty interesting um, light fixtures throughout. Um, I'm pretty sure that it wasn't spec to come with these light fixtures in the bedrooms. Mm -hmm. But it's just going to add some more um, depth to it. And then, yeah, you add another photo here so you can see that the closets are outfitted with storage. And so you've got all that. And the good thing is, like, when you buy new construction, a lot of people don't know this. You have to think about putting things into your closets a lot of the times, like the cabinets and whatnot. Sometimes they're done for you. Sometimes they're not. Same thing with window treatments. So anytime you buy a house and you're the second owner, the first person is, has kind of done the work for you in that regard. But you still have something that's that feels totally new. Mm -hmm. So I always tell a lot of I, I tell a lot of my clients it's kind of like the sweet spot if you want something new, but you don't want to pay like top of the market for new, new, new. This mm -hmm. is a good way to do it. So, like I said, this is one kind of kind of a long one level unit. So this is just showing you the hallway back, mm -hmm. and here's your second bedroom. Again, you've got windows on two different sides, so you've got um, good light coming in that way. Yeah. I love the corner windows. You're right. So if it's not coming in this way, you can get it from mm -hmm. the other direction. That's mm -hmm. really, yeah. And, you know, barn doors, again, you can kind of see the, the little piece of a light fixture here again, that was put into this room, um, with the closets done nicely with all the kind of storage space. And then you see through that you've got this ensuite bathroom. And again, here you go, here you go, carrying through with the industrial kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. um, the vanities are restoration hardware. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, you've just got this throughout, this carrying the theme throughout. And that is certainly a unique vanity, um, which I think is very, very cool. It almost reminds me of like a library, you know, those, the little kind of shelves used to put out with the cards oh yeah really dating myself here but yes. <laughs> when there was like the whole dewey decimal system i think Disney right thing. i remember so i'm right there with you you're dating both of us <laughs> but um anyway so there's 10 foot ceilings throughout so it does give it a kind of a nice lofty feel this is the back of the building so just kind of showing you another angle of it and the design um parking is available um with this unit um i didn't get the it, it implies that it's not included but available so I'm, i should get some more details if anyone's interested of course dm me and um and we can figure that out for you but yeah great listing awesome and um allison is there an open house nope there's not right now and sometimes people will add in an open house on fridays today so when mm -hmm. i was going through and looking there wasn't one planned but you know, we can check back and see if maybe one gets planned after all. Awesome. Okay. Well, is there any other little tidbits? I just changed the address. We're getting ready for our um, next listing, but is there anything else that, you know, any, cause sometimes, you know, you would go and then I'm like, Oh, I forgot to say. Yeah, no, so. no. I think that's pretty much it. I mean, I think the history on this one really is just knowing the history explains the style. Mm -hmm. Um, and I, I don't know, I just think it's a really cool, unique listing. And I love the area. It's not far from where I live as well. So it's a great, it's a great unit. Can't wait to see who buys it. Awesome. Okay. Well then guys, that leads us to um, my listing that we're going to be showing today. And my listing is, it is the Yale Steam Laundry Building. And so it's located in Mount Vernon, Tri uh, Mount Ver Vernon Triangle. And um, this building has, just like Allison's building had a lot of history, this building does. Um, the address is 437 New York Avenue and it's unit um, 1010. So the Yelstein Laundry Building, as you can hear, laundry, hello, what does it have to do with? Well, the history of this building is that this building used to do the laundry for the White House, the Congress, and certain um, other government entities. Um, so, and it actually, it was built in 1902. And it became a um, historical, it was registered as an historical site in 1974. So a lot of history there. Um, originally there was one building, but then in 2007 and 2008, 
um, they built two additional buildings. So now there's three buildings. You have your West Tower. Here's a, a picture of the outside of the building. I have another great picture of it that I'll show at the very end, but you have your West Tower and your East Tower. So my unit is located in the East Tower. So um, once we go inside, um, so, you know, one thing that I will say is that when the building was built, um, you know, they say that the building is, has a warm industrial feeling, kind of like a New York style condo loft. And so, um, but here is the first picture when we go in, one of my favorite things that I love about this unit are, is the windows. The windows are almost floor to ceiling windows. Um, there is treatment on the windows that the, um, the owner um, who purchased it uh, uh, installed and the um, window treatments are, let me tell you, they are Smith and Noble window treatments. Thank you. And I heard Allison say it as well. So yes, all throughout. And so it's, you know, they're just nice window treatments. There is bamboo flooring throughout. And you'll notice that um, the bedrooms actually have um, carpet that was um, put in to the unit when the, when the formal owner or the owner, the current owner, purchase it. But you still have the bamboo floors underneath. So if you want to, you know, go back to the bamboo floors um, in the bedrooms, you can absolutely do that. Now here, this is just another angle. This is looking back towards the kitchen. And you can see towards your left, there is an additional bedroom that they're using as an office. This next shot is from the kitchen and you're looking out. And once again, there's the beautiful windows. Um, now, if you look really closely, there is a door that leads out to the balcony. And one tidbit that I was told, if you like beautiful sunrises, suppose this building, I'm not going to say supposing, I'm going to tell you, this building has one of the best sunrises in D.C. So you, if you love sunrises, you can have your morning coffee and you can sit outside on the balcony and watch the sun come up. I'll just add because I drive at this old building all the time and it's it's because of where it is and the fact that you get onto the highway near there so you can't have a lot of buildings built up in that area so this building is one of the tallest ones right around there so the mm -hmm. vantage point from here is phenomenal so that's that's in part it's like this is like and this is also a good location sorry I hope I'm not jumping ahead where if you need no. to if you need to go on a highway to get out of town for work or you're going to Virginia or you know you're parts of Maryland, this is a really great area just to hop right on those thoroughfares. Yeah, and just to um, piggyback on what Allison said, this is a corner unit and it's northeast facing, so you get the beautiful sunrises. So um, this is uh, the kitchen. So the kitchen, you know, was built, renovated. Um, now, if you want to make this kitchen yours, you can like easily, like if you want to add your touch and change it a little bit, you could easily, you know, change up your counters and you would just um, totally have a different feel. I know that the new owner came in and he changed out the tiles in the bathroom when he moved in. So, you know, it's, it's kind of interesting when you have a home that's already done, you get a chance to just add your little little touches, but that's a great kitchen. This is looking out and I chose this shot because it's just beautiful and it shows you how much sunlight that this unit gets. I mean, look how bright and airy the unit is. It's just, you get tons of light. And for me, um, when I've lived in condos and apartment buildings, I have to have light. I need lots of windows. I need lots of sunlight. So if you're like me, this is your unit. Um, here is, this is the second bathroom. So these are new tiles that the owner uh, put in about three, four years ago um, when they purchased a the property. So I will say the um, all of both bathrooms are oversized baths. And you'll notice in the next shot that you it's it's a large bathroom that you're actually able to have your laundry um, in the bathroom. So if you look closely, this shot right here, this is the second bedroom, which they are using it as an office. But if you look behind that door, you can see the laundry that's outside of the bathroom that I just showed you. And you can see that there's um, space for laundry. So really large bathroom. This uh, second bedroom, look at this, look at the windows. I mean, it's just great. You have great views. You get all of this light, very, very bright. You have high ceilings in the unit. Um, it's just a great, um, great, great unit. So our next shot um, is... This is just our second shot that we're showing. This is your primary bath. And so I just, you know, because we showed the other, I just thought I'd just show this one really quickly. But here is our primary bedroom. And imagine this is where you get the sunrise 
This is where you get the beautiful sunrises. So you can either sit out on the balcony or you can just lie in your bed and you can watch the sun come up. So it's just a beautiful, really large bedroom. And like I said, it has carpet, but you still have the uh, hardwood floors underneath. So if you wanted to go back to it, you could easily go back to the um, bamboo um, flooring that, that's there. So um, there's also a walk-in closet that we're not showing, um, but nice walk-in closet. And this, as we talk about um, certain things about the building, the building has a lot of amenities. Um, some of the amenities in the building, as you can see, is a rooftop deck. We have a, a great uh, large swimming pool on the pool top. And then there's also a 24-hour concierge. You have an assigned garage parking with this spot. There is a gym that we'll show you right here. Now, little history about this gym is that the gym and the rec area that I'm getting ready to show next, this is where the original steam laundry took place. So this is where it was. This is where everything happened. Um, so we'll let you see that again. And this is the other side. So this is where the history, where it took place. And you know, I really love, this is a great rec area. Um, now, this is a lobby when you come in. So we just wanted to show you have a 24-hour concierge. And, um, you know, in the East Building, I believe there's 133 units. Um, so in, and in the main building, I think there's 16 um, uh, kind of New York-style condo lofts in the main building. So um, there is an open house. And Allison, I don't know if you had anything that you want to say, but um, there is an open house on Sunday. And the open house is from one to three. I think you just need to tell everybody who's listing this is. Yes, absolutely. So this listing, thanks uh, for reminding me, this listing is Patrick Reynolds and Scott Sachs of the Synergy Group at Compass. So our same company, uh, same company. And um, this is just a great listing. And uh, they, I mean, they, it's, it's great when you have agents that really love um, listings that they're uh, representing. And, you know, Patrick, you know, is in love with the building and this unit. So thank you for letting us feature this one. Um, it's a great neighborhood, Mount Vernon Triangle. You have, you know, lots of restaurants. You have a great coffee shop in the area. You have a Safeway that's a couple of blocks away. Um, so it's just a great, great building. Yep. I think the only other thing is I'm not sure we mentioned the condo fee, so we can mention that too, which I have written down that's 838 a month. Um, which covers all of the awesome amenities that you talked about. So, you know, sometimes you are like, what does this condo fee pay for? And sometimes you're like, oh, it's paying for, you know, all of the amazing stuff like the pool and, you know, the concierge and all that. So that's what that's what it's covering in this one. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm just trying to think, I just want to make sure that I haven't left anything out because this is a super um, cool, very cool um, place. But now here's one other little interesting fact that I forgot to mention that this unit on the 10th floor is only the third unit and the third two bedroom unit in the last 15 years that's come on the market. So what does that tell you? People like living in this building, people want to be in this building. So this is, you know, that's a little tidbit, little fact for you. And so, All right, well, that's awesome. If anybody wants more information about either of these really cool listings, both of which have some unique history, right around the same pe time period, DM yes. us. Yes. <laughs> DM us and we'll put our emails at the end. So if you guys want to email us and um, if you are unable to make the open house, you want to see it sooner and get in there, just give us, um, send us an email and we will take you to see it. So that is our two wonderful listings for the week. And we just want to thank you for joining us. And next week we'll be back with more of our favorite listings. I'm Karen Ringo. And I'm Allison Semeca. And we will see you soon.